this basically came out today governor cuomo actually resigns from office uh, he stated that within the next 14 days or so that he his resignation will take up take effect now if you remember when the allegations first came up it was right around the time that new york was opening up and at that exact same time california was basically relocking down and extending the lockdown and there was a lot of people who were like new york is opening and they were very surprised because it wasn't like the numbers were getting better in fact we were basically very similarly to a high point where people were still getting sick etc it was still a number of people who were testing positive and it was kind of like an abrupt opening and it was right around that time that the allegations began and in my last video and i talked about this very briefly that it was so timely that at the exact same time that de blasio announces the passport here in new york via the excelsior program and remember the excelsior program never got underway under cuomo he had announced it and then it kind of all but just disappeared you were wondering and it basically life in new york here in new york basically went back to normal you saw people taking off their masks everything was open and it wasn't like the hospitals were overrun and then de blasio announces the passport and everything is you know contemplating locking down and people are like why and then right at the same time the allegations respring up that we're moving forward right and then this comes out this is one of the most challenging times for government in a generation government really needs to function today government needs to perform it is a matter of life and death government operations and wasting energy on distractions is the last thing that state government should be doing and i cannot be the cause of that new york tough means new york loving and i love new york and i love you and everything I have ever done has been motivated by that love. And I would never want to be unhelpful in any way. And I think that given the circumstances, the best way I can help now is if I step aside. And that was basically the video. There was a little bit more uh, where he just basically stated that the, uh, his lieutenant, uh, which is a woman, will be taking over and when i when i think of the narrative of who weaponizes this stuff right when a man either has too much power or perhaps isn't going along with the narrative a, nar a new narrative is basically look at kavanaugh right when kavanaugh when trump wanted kavanaugh put into office everybody saw what happened there were people coming out of the woodwork and then eventually you know he played ball everybody thought you know we got brett kavanaugh he's gonna do the right thing and at every point after that he did absolutely nothing for conservatives he was completely useless he was completely neutered he went in as someone that many people thought was going to be for the conservative party and he basically bent the knee and all those allegations subsequently disappeared and if you remember like cuomo kind of flip-flopped with trump it wasn't like he hated the person and it was very weird because he did like a 180 because he wasn't it wasn't like he was completely against him if you look back prior to the pandemic he was not anti-trump and then it was only during the pandemic that he became somewhat anti-trump but then he would talk about how trump did a great got a you know did a great job he shut down the city you know very timely and then later on he's talking about i want to punch him in the face etc so it wasn't like uh cuomo was like the nonsensical angry leftists you know that are just like orange man bad 
and Cuomo's got daughters. His, his mother is alive. He's very much involved as a parent, etc. And I have no doubt a man in his position that many men like this, you know, women throw themselves at them constantly. And so it, to me, it just seems so timely. And of course, the person who will be taking his place will be the first woman governor. And it's like, come on. Not everything is always as it seems. Not everything is always as it seems. Sometimes people don't want to play ball. And when you've served your usefulness, you can go peacefully, you can go quietly into the night, or you can make it hard on yourself and they leave it up to you.